Hi everyone, I have the What the Nail Polish tag for you guys today. Holly just um, tagged me in this, Miss Holly Berries, and I know I've been doing a lot of tags recently, but there have been a lot of really good tags going on recently, so I've been kind of really into doing them, and they're all kind of fun to do. And I like watching these videos. I know a lot of people like watching these videos. So I thought I would do it as well. Um, I will have all the questions listed down below as well as everyone that I tag for it listed down below. Um, and I would actually love to see anyone do this. So if you guys are uh, interested in doing it, either answer the questions in a comment or I would love to see a video response. Um, but yeah, everything will be in the description box, like always. Um, and I will start answering the questions. There are 11 questions, um, and they are all nail polish themed. Question number one is, you are stranded on an island, you have all the necessary tools such as remover, etc. What polish do you have? Um, this is going to be my absolute favorite polish of all time, and that is Zoya's Sharla. Um, and it looks like this. And it is a sparkly blue teal mermaid tail gorgeous beyond belief nail polish. And it's just absolutely stunning. It is literally my favorite color um, that color like base. It's a blue and it sparkles like teal and it's gorgeous and it looks amazing in all sorts of weather and I could wear this regardless of if it's winter or summer. What is your least favorite polish is question number two. Uh, I actually have talked about this in a video before. I talked about how much I hate this polish. There is not a polish that compares to how much I hate this polish. In fact, in the I Love Drugstore tag, when I said I've only ranted about one product before um, and I couldn't really remember what it was and it's because I like blocked it out of my mind, um, it was actually Melon of Troy. Um, I didn't remember how much I hated this polish until I looked at this tag and I saw the question, what's your least favorite nail polish? And I knew it was OPI's Melon of Troy and then I remembered that was the other product that I hated the most of all time um, and that I've ranted about the most in any other video. I just, I hate it. I hate the color. I hate the finish. Um, it's looked gorgeous on other people, but it just looks terrible on me. So I absolutely just, I I will never ever wear this polish ever again. Um, I have it for comparison reasons. I use it to compare to other orange coral frosty polishes that I don't have so I don't actually but anyway I I keep it around for comparison um, purposes as well as if my mom ever wants a frosty coral which sometimes she does uh, for her toes I will let her use this and I actually keep it in her room because I I don't like it it doesn't live here it doesn't live in this world um, least favorite Ever. Question number three is what polish best reflects your personality? Uh, Holly uh, answered the que this question in terms of like the names and the names that uh, like hers was easygoing and I have a lot of nail polish and I honestly didn't want to look through all the names to see if there was one that like reflected my personality so I based it off of the polish that I wear the most and the polish that people associate the most with me and that actually is Charla by Zoya. Um, I wear this a ton. I wear this sort of color a ton um, and specifically this polish or any other tube with this polish like the Orly one um, all the time and so people actually like people that I work with, they will go and either buy a polish that's blue like this or will buy sort of something sparkly and they'll be like, oh, I bought a polish that totally reminded me of you. And so I would have to say Zoya Charlotte just because it's the one that I like the most. Um, along those same lines would be sort of anything teal and sparkly. I have two Deborah Lippmans to show you. This one is Just Dance, which was a mini. It came in a mini trio, but I think you can get it in full size um, or you could at one point. Um, and this is Mermaid Stream, which is sort of a lighter turquoise glitter color. Question number four, what polish could you wear all year round to every occasion? Kind of already answered that, and that would be this. I have worn this all year round. I have worn this to all occasions, either on my toes or on my nails. Question number five, what is your favorite polish for your toes? Uh, 
This is like not even a joke. Um, if you ask the people that I get my toes done from, I get manicures and pedicures quite often because for me, I know I can paint my own nails. I have a lot of nail polish. I can do it by myself. But for me, it's not so much of the fact that I can do it by myself, but going to get my nails done is kind of a mental like emotional release for me. It's my time. It's my time to sit and zone out. So um, that's why I get my nails done a lot. And they also, I mean, they shape my nails for me and I'm bad at it and they take care of my cuticles and um, painting your toes is actually really hard too. So I don't really ever paint my toes on my own, but the colors that I get the most on my toes would have to be this, like legitimately this. I go and bring this in and one of the nail salons that I go to actually has Zoya available, so I can always pick this off the wall. Um, or a purple color, sort of any purples. I love purples. And anything anything sort of pink and sparkly. I do pink and sparkly a lot of my toes, and um, this one, this is Excuse Moi from the OPI Muppets collection. This is one that I've actually had on my toes quite often. I like to have something sparkly or sort of fun on my toes because I can always look down and just feel happy about it. Um, I also do brights a lot on my toes. This is China Glaze's Flip Flop Fantasy, which is one of my favorite pinks of all time. It's a super bright neon color. Um, so sort of this category of bright and fun and sparkly or like neon, I do a lot on my toes. Um, and I work somewhere where I can actually wear flip-flops all the time. I'm a, I'm a lifeguard. I work at a pool. I also do the front desk there so I can wear flip-flops like all day long. So um, having something fun on my toes is actually kind of important to me. Like I like being able to see it and like being able to just feel happy for like a split second of the day when I look down at my feet. Um, so that's what I wear the most on my toes. Uh, question number six is what color makes you happy? And it, I just kind of answered that one too. It would have to be something glittery and fun and sparkly and girly and bright. This color in particular, I just love. This always just makes me smile. Neons. Neons are super fun. Question number seven. What is the most unique polish that I own? It would have to be some of those more indie brands. Um that I have bought from Laroe as well as Harlow & Co. I actually have a huge shipment of stuff coming in in like a week and a half and actually they're all hollows because I feel like hollows are not something that you can get as easily here um, aside from the fact that Color Club just released a collection called Halo Hues um, which are on e-tailers right now so if you're looking for holographic nail polishes you can check out the Color Club Halo Hues collection but most unique polishes have to be some of those uh, European, Australian brands that are hollows. This one is the Ozotic Color 533. This is a duochrome, like multi-chrome hollow, which is like, what? No one makes those here. Um, and this is absolutely stunning. I have swatches of this and I will link that down below. This is from A England and it is called Dragon and it is a green and gold sort of duochrome color with a lot of hollow in it as well. This is super opaque and gorgeous by the way. Um, and this is Glitter Gals Nail Polish in Turbulence and it is just a bright silver hollow. So some of those have to be my most unique because I just... The polishes like this I don't have in any sort of mainstream American brand um, at all. Some of my other more really unique polishes are actually paw polishes. These are a Japanese brand. I personally can only find them in Japanese markets around me, but um, they make some of the most unique polishes that I've personally be able, been able to go and see and find and buy. Um, they have like jelly confetti glitters to, to like flakies to... Um, they have some duochromes and they have some really, really nice foils and they do a lot of actually really, really nice jelly glitters. Question number eight, which nail trend do you like best? Bright neon, soft, patel, soft pastels, sultry darks, or classy nudes? Sultry darks, I love dark nail polish. Number nine, what is the oldest nail polish you own? This isn't the absolute oldest nail polish I own. I can actually name for you the very first nail polish that I ever bought. I was skiing in Tahoe and the hotel 
their store had, um, it was, it was just like one of those convenience store things in the like hotel lobby. They had a row of nail polishes on the bottom shelf of one of their aisles and my dad and I picked out a red nail polish. I wanted to pick out a nail polish because I, I don't know, my mom said I could get one. Um, so we went and looked at them and I wanted to pick, you know, the most like awful pink, like frosty color because I was eight. But my dad said, no, pick this one because it's really elegant. You'll be able to wear it forever. Um, and so I bought this red nail polish. I have no idea what brand it was. It was, it was a red circular tube with a white frosty um, top to it. Um, I put it on that night. It looked amazing against the snow while I was in Tahoe. And then, then I um, put it on every half an hour on the car ride home. Uh, my parents made the fatal mistake of letting me get my first nail polish on a vacation, which we drove to. So yeah, that was my absolute first nail polish and it's in my house somewhere. I know I haven't thrown it out because I'm one of those sentimental people that like to keep my first of everything. Um, if it's not like here, it's in a box somewhere. It's in like some keepsake box somewhere in my house. But that was my very first nail polish of all time. After that, I had a really light, shimmery, sheer, uh, minty green color from Gap when they used to make those mini nail polishes. Um, and after that, I, that was when I was like 10. After that, I sort of accumulated random polishes from like Bonnie Bell or whatever. And then I got a nail polish trio from my mom from Gap. Um, it was for my birthday. We got it from a Gap outlet and she let me pick out three and then I got to pick out some for like birthday presents to give away to other people. Um, that thing that moms do, you know, you go to a store that, and with them and they're like, you know, pick out a couple of things that will be nice to give away as gifts. Um, I got to pick out three for myself and this is one of them. This is a Gap nail polish. The color is Pink Prism, and it is a super chunky, light pink holographic glitter. It is not a completely linear hollow. Um, it's that chunky, just the glitters themselves are hollow. Um, and it was completely dried out until a while ago, and then I put nail polish center in it, and now it's, like, somewhat usable again. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't use it, but I've literally had this since I was, like, 12. 12 or 13 um, and I'm 22 now so it's been almost 10 years with this nail polish but um, this was my favorite out of the trio. Number 10 is which nail polish has the cutest name of all? Um, I don't, again I didn't like look through all of my nail polish to look at all the names because I have a lot of nail polish um, but I picked some of the ones that I thought were funny and or the ones that I like. Um, the first one was actually just like right there on the shelf. Uh, this is The Man with the Golden Gun by OPI. Um, I'm a sucker for James Bond and, you know, things that advertise other things with other products. Uh, and the fact that it's called The Man with the Golden Gun, I mean, super cool. That's, look at and look at it. It's like, this is like the coolest nail polish of all time. And it was, it's named after a James Bond film. I don't know. It's, it's not cute, but it's, it's one of those things that you buy for the name. Um, well, if this was like any other color, if this wasn't like a gold flake top coat, if it was like this, and for some reason it was called The Man with the Golden Gun, I would probably still buy it anyway, just, just never use it. But um, novelty purposes, that's why I bought it, and the name is super cool as well. Uh, um, other nail polishes that have funny names. Um, I am a sucker for anything Christmas, so Smitten with Mittens, even though this is my favorite red of all time, it's called Smitten with Mittens, and it rhymes. And anything Christmas, I'm there. Um, this one is getting Miss Piggy with it, which was from the OPI Muppets collection. Anything Will Smith? Who remembers the song Getting Jiggy with it? This obviously was an homage to Will Smith and the Muppets, but still, like, of course I, I'm gonna buy that. Um, child of the 90s, just letting you know. Um, I also happen to be a huge fan of Canada. I would love to live there at some point. Um, I'm a super big hockey fan and I just, 
I love Canadians. They're so nice and whatever. It's it's a long that's a long story. But anything Canada, so this one is O Canada from Julep and it is a sheer opalescent and red glitter. And this one is Nice Color A from OPI. Canadian um and this is like not a color that I would wear all the time either. I mean, I've worn it a couple of times, but Definitely bought it because it's called Nice Color A. There are other colors from the Canadian co collection that I bought, like At Your Quebec and Call, Mauving to Manitoba. Bought some of those. Another nail polish name that I actually really like is Across the Universe, and that's more of a sentimental thing. Um, the Beatles are my favorite band. It was my dad's favorite band. Um, and Across the Universe is my favorite song by the Beatles, and this happens to be just the most stunningly beautiful blue polish. Um, so that's why I like that one. The last question in this tag is, what is your favorite brand of nail polish? And mine happens to be Deborah Lippmann. Um, here's Deborah Lippmann polish to show you, just so I can hold it up and show you something. Uh, mine happens to be Deborah Lippmann because I think they do, or she does, some of the most unique polishes available here regularly in the United States. I love that she names everything after certain, after songs. She herself is an incredible woman. She has some of the best customer service um, that I've come across in any brand and she really loves what she does and she really loves her products and you can see that in the way she presents things and the way that she manufactures things and the way she talks to her fans and to her customers on Twitter. Um, so Deborah Littman is definitely one of my favorites and that is the entire tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember go check down in the description box for all the things that I said I would link and for all the people that I tag and I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys soon.